Hey everybody, I'm Griffin with Electric Bike Report. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at one of the tiniest and arguably mightiest pound for pound electric vehicles we've ever reviewed on this channel. I'm of course talking about the Jackrabbit. This e-micromobility solution is purpose built for shorter trips to quickly get riders from A to B. To find out more about this unique product and all that it has to offer, stick with us through our testing and review. Now the Jackrabbit is billed as a micro e-bike, but I think it's actually a little bit closer to an electric scooter that you can sit on. The reason I say that is because of course this doesn't come with pedals or a drivetrain system, you just have some foot pegs down there and it operates under throttle only, or of course kickstarting if you'd rather go that way. But while it is a little bit more of a seated scooter, it's actually like very good in its element. In the e-micromobility world, there are marathon runners and there are sprinters, and this one's definitely more of a sprinter. It is designed with shorter commutes in mind. Now, when I was a college student, I remember I would try to get to campus, but all the parking was full, and I'd have to park two or three miles away, hope to catch the shuttle, and maybe make it to class on time. Now, while that was my experience, I would have loved to have something like this that can zip up to 20 miles per hour and get me to class. And that story, while that is my personal story, it's actually part of the backstory of this bike. The creators were thinking about this very problem watching students try and get about campus, and this is sort of what they helped dream up as a solution to that problem. Now, while this bike is very small and compact, it's also very lightweight. It's only 24 pounds, which is really easy to just pick up with one hand. They even offer some accessory options for slinging it over your shoulder so you can carry it around almost like a backpack. It does have some foldable elements to it, which we will get into later, where you can lower down the handlebar and uh, turn the wheel over. Now, this bike comes equipped with a 300 watt rear hub motor, a 151 watt hour battery, and it rides on 20 inch wheels. We're gonna go ahead and dive into all the nitty gritty of this and put it through our standard tests. But if you have any more questions about the specs of this bike, we're gonna leave a link down in the description below where you can head to the EBR website for all the details there. Now for our brake test, what we do is we bring the bike up to its max 20 mile per hour limit and then we stop and we do this three different times to give us an average braking distance. Now a couple notable things before we go into the brake test, this is a little bit unique and we won't be able to fully compare it to other brake tests we've done in the past, simply because this bike only comes equipped with one rear brake. So the results of our brake test showed that the Jackrabbit comes to a stop an average of 27 feet and nine inches. A pretty good result when you consider a few of the different factors about this bike. First off, it only has one brake and that's on over the rear wheel here. The reason it only has one brake is because since it's a micro bike with a shorter wheelbase, if they had a front brake on here, it'd be very easy to pull that lever and end up going over the handlebars. So only equipping it with one brake is the right call. Now it is a 180 millimeter disc rotor and I think that's actually pretty good stopping power for this bike. You can definitely pull on it and get some power sliding going, which means it's got plenty of stopping power and can lock that wheel up. So I think that all the factors at play considered, it's pretty safe and pretty good stopping e-bike. Now with the Jackrabbit, we put it on a range test to get a better idea of how many miles you could get on a single charge. So with the Jackrabbit, it comes equipped with a 36 volt 4.2 amp hour battery or 151 watt hours. Paired with the 300 watt motor, most riders are gonna see somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 45 minutes worth of ride time. Now, our range results showed that our test rider got nine and a half miles and about 45 minutes in the saddle, going along at a clip of about 12 and a half miles per hour speed on average. Now, all in all, that's a very, very good result. Reason being, typically when we do range tests, some amount of pedaling is involved, but as I mentioned before, you get pegs instead of pedals on this. So for 100% motor and battery power to get nearly 10 miles is pretty good. You'll see some variation there depending on different factors, such as where you're riding it and rider weight. But all in all, pretty good if you're just looking to cover short distances in those big cities or on college campuses. Now, if all of that doesn't sound like enough range for you, you can easily double it. You can go ahead and pick up a second spare battery at checkout, and Jackrabbit even includes a little carrying case that'll go right underneath the saddle there so the battery will always be with you. Now, we also put the Jackrabbit through our circuit test. 
Now our circuit test is a one mile loop consisting of four right hand turns and a small 30 foot climb. Now typically what we do is we put the, a bike through this circuit on all the different pedal assist settings, but of course none of that is here. It just comes with a throttle and I didn't feel like scooter kicking it for a lap. So we did just the one lap with the throttle only. Now I was very pleasantly surprised with the amount of speed I was able to get on the Jackrabbit. It held a speed of 17.8 miles per hour on that circuit lap, kind of proving that pipe sized things like the Jackrabbit here can still pack a punch. Now the motor engages very smoothly and there is no jarring acceleration or anything like that, but it does get up to speed quickly. It does thread the needle between being something that moves quickly but comfortably. It's also worth noting that as we, I was handling those turns, the cornering was actually pretty well on the bike. Given again the fact that there is a smaller wheelbase here, that does make things a little bit more twitchy in the handling, but you get used to it very quickly when riding around on the Jackrabbit. All right, now while this is a micro bike, it is a very small already, you can actually make it even more compact if you need to store it and put it away somewhere or put it under your desk at work or at class. Now, in order to do this, Jackrabbit has made it so you can take the handlebars off and they even give you a little clip to mount it to the frame, as well as the ability to rotate that front wheel to make it a little bit shorter overall. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that now for you and show you how it all works. And just like that, you've decreased the size even more. And since it is only 24 pounds, it's very easy to take with you wherever it is you need to go. Okay, now we wanna walk you through the layout of the cockpit, as well as just speak a little bit overall to the comfort and handling of the Jackrabbit. The first thing you'll notice on the handlebars are a pair of very soft rubber grips. I actually like these grips a lot. They are very comfortable and they do a good job of keeping your hands in place, even if your hands get a little bit sweaty. On the left hand side there is a bell for letting people know that you're coming up behind them on a the path. And then on this right hand side here we have the power for the Jackrabbit, just a little simple push button that turns it on. Now the battery readout is a little bit different, it is just three lights on the right hand side of green, yellow and red letting you know roughly how much battery you have left. It's not the most precise obviously, there's no percentage readout, it's a very minimalist, very simple design. Now, as we kind of go down through the Jackrabbit here, it is an aluminum frame. It's pretty rigid and stiff. All in all, it handles pretty well out on the roads. And of course, it is riding on two different sized 20 inch tires. The one in the front is a 1.95 inch thickness, while the one in the rear is 2.5. Now, the reason they made that rear tire a little bit more burly than the front one is because with how you are seated and situated on the Jackrabbit, you are carrying almost all of your weight here directly over that rear tire. So they beefed it up a little bit to make it give you a little bit more traction. And all in all, I think that was a pretty good call up as well. Furthermore, I like these tires. They have a good tread pattern on them. It helps you stay planted on the roads. Good traction overall. You don't get a lot of slipping around. Something I appreciate. Now, the seat is pretty standard. It's not the most plush. It's not the most performance I've ever ridden, but considering it is a bike built for shorter distances and you'll only be going a few miles at the time, I think you'll stay pretty comfortable at home on it. Now last but not least, down below where pedals normally are, you have some foot pegs that do fold in and out for when you fold the, the bike down. Now all in all, it's pretty good and pretty comfortable. I think my only gripe that I have is just for me as a six foot one person with my legs, where my feet wanted to rest on those pedals, my feet came a little bit far forward. Since the wheelbase again is shorter, sometimes when I would turn, I'd get some rubbing up on my shoe. It was nev never that big of a deal. I'd just slide my foot back, but it did kind of catch me by surprise the first few times I rode around. All in all, considering what it is for being a micro e-bike, it is a lot of fun. It's got pretty snappy handling. Turns are very fun to do. It's something you could easily see yourself doing like slaloms in with how tight the handling is overall. Now, earlier on, I mentioned that this is a little bit more similar to an e-scooter. The one huge advantage that this has over scooters, again, coming back to those tires, being 20 inches in diameter is a big deal when most e-scooters are about eight inches. What that means is as you're taking this thing over bumps in the roads and potholes, it'll absorb it far better than any scooter ever would. Not only that, but you're in a seated position as opposed to standing, so you feel a lot more stable and in control. Again, considering it's a micro e-bike, I do like how this feels out on the roads. 
The final test we did with the jackrabbit is our hill test. Now our test hill is called Hellhole. It is roughly a third of a mile long at a 12% grade. It is an extreme hill for sure. It's why we actually chose that one because it really puts bikes to the test to see what they can do. Now, what we're gonna do with the jackrabbit here is we're just going to ride that throttle as hard as we can, give it some warm-up speed and then hit the hill and see how it does. Now, as you can see, we did not make it to the top of Hellhole, but here's a couple of thoughts about the overall hill climbing power of the jackrabbit. Number one, a lot of bikes don't make it up Hellhole. It's a very extreme hill and we chose it for a reason. Where this is throttle only and there aren't any pedals or any drivetrain to help you along, it will have some limitations unless you're willing to scooter kick your way to the top. Now, for those settings that it is designed for, kind of flatter city areas that do have some moderate hills that you'll encounter, it actually does pretty well on those. Some of the hills that I hit, they have 30, 40 foot uh, climbs and it actually zipped me to the top of them pretty decently. A few different times when I thought I would have to scooter kick, I didn't and it just kind of kept plugging along. It really was the little engine that could. So all in all, it's decent if you understand some of its limitations that it does have. So here's kind of the bottom line takeaway from my experience riding around on the Jackrabbit. In full disclosure, usually when we get something at EBR that has a smaller bike, something kind of in this neighborhood in terms of size, I usually try and shy away from it and do as little as possible when I'm helping out the review team. Reason being, at six foot one, 230 pounds, I don't want to give off those clown car vibes of being the big dude on the little, on the little bike. But that kind of changed a little bit with the Jackrabbit here. And the reason being is because there is a fun factor about this bike that I think it absolutely nails. I was kind of expecting some underwhelming performance. I didn't think it would really be able to power me up very much and keep me cruising at comfortable and fun speeds, but it actually does it very well. The motor performed admirably and it is just a joy to handle. You will definitely be turning heads while you're out there on the road. You have something that's a little bit novelty and niche with this micro e-bike, but it's just so much fun to actually see those heads turn as you are just zipping past some people, even if you're on a bike path. Now, it is not a perfect machine by any sense. As I mentioned before, I don't love that my feet kind of naturally rest in the way of the tire and I have to keep them a little bit further back than I'd like. And I do know that this isn't going to be a bike that's necessarily for everybody, but if you focus on what it is and not on what it isn't, it is actually a pretty great machine. It's designed for those smaller commutes, those under 10 mile trips around town. And I think it's really great for that. The fact that it is 24 pounds and can easily be uh, stowed away easily picked up and taken with you wherever you want to go is awesome. Now, all in all, Jackrabbit is a lot of fun and I hope that you've enjoyed this review. If so, please do consider giving us a thumbs up down below. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the Electric Bike Report channel and we will be leaving links down below for current pricing as well as the full detailed written review where you can find more information on the data we collected while reviewing the Jackrabbit. Again, I'm Griffin with Electric Bike Report and we'll see you on the next review.